on today's episode of DIY My House. I am going to create DIY wall art on a canvas. You'll need a canvas, a white jar of sample paint and a paint roller, acrylic paint in several shades of the color you've selected, as well as a tube of white paint, a couple of paint brushes, and some Mod Podge. To begin, wipe any dust or dirt from the canvas with a paper towel. Next, using my white sample paint along with my roller, I'm applying two coats of paint to the canvas. Voila, a fresh slate to start with. To create my ombre design, I'll go from light to dark. I'll start with white, then gray, and I'll work my way down using my four shades of purple going from lightest to darkest. So let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna be working with six shades, so I'm dividing the canvas into six sections as a guide to show me where to begin and end each color. It's not exact, but it's a good reference. I poured all my paint onto paper plates. Starting with my three inch brush, I'm applying white acrylic paint to my first pre-measured section. Because this is such a big canvas, I'm just gonna spread a line of this paint out evenly. No blending is needed, so this just makes it easier to apply. I'm going in a back and forth motion to evenly distribute the paint, and I'm going to let the extra hang over the edges with each one of these colors so that I can apply that paint to the sides later. In the second section, I'm using a slate gray and silver. I started by applying the more saturated gray towards the bottom, and then used a back and forth stroke to spread and blend the paint. As I move up, I apply a little bit of white paint to my brush to wash out some of the gray and blend the white and the gray sections into one another. Next, I started with my first shade of purple, Deep Violet. I started with the more saturated color towards the bottom, and then I mixed in my white to turn it into a lighter shade of purple. I went in a back and forth motion, starting with the bottom and working my way up to the gray, continuing in a back and forth motion to achieve the lighter shade of purple that you see here. I used the thick side of my brush, and I also turned it over and used the thin side. You can use different strokes and try to get little lines and patterns, like this right here. I really like the white line the brush created. It was kind of imperfect and I wanted it to stand out so I kept it there. And then I just kept going in a back and forth motion with the thinner part of my brush towards the top to blend the purple and the gray. And then I actually took a little of the gray and used that to blend the purple and the gray together for a better finish. You can see it from another angle here. Just going back and forth again with the thinner side of the brush. For the second purple layer, I used the same color, deep violet, but I'm not gonna mix much white into this one. This keeps more of the true color, making this layer slightly darker than the shade above. I'm applying more paint at the bottom to this section to create a darker shade. As I continue to go back and forth, the brush spreads the paint out, thinning it and lightening the color. This really helps to blend this section into the lighter shade above as we move to the top of this section. And you can see in some places it's lighter than others, but I like that pattern and it really helps to add to the texture and the dimension of the ombre effect. As I apply the third shade of purple, I begin at the bottom of the section that I measured earlier and I'm applying a heavy coat of the deep violet. I'm not applying any white to this section. I'm staying true to that saturated color. It's really pretty and it's really just helping me achieve that third layer of purple before I get to the last color. I'm using Prism Violet for the last shade of purple and I'm just applying it to the canvas using a back and forth motion. This color is so pretty. I'm using the true uh, hue and saturation of this color. I'm not blending it with any white and it looks absolutely amazing. Next, I'm going to just blend the edges of the painting and I'll be done. As I was painting the canvas, I let all of my paints bleed over to the sides and now I'm gonna take my one inch paintbrush and start to blend all of my purples. And I'm gonna start with the lighter shade of purple and work my way down and then I'm gonna use my two inch brush to blend the gray and the white. You should really start with the white and then work your way down to the gray. 
And that's how I did it. I blended the sides with the ombre effect. Along the top, it's a solid white. The bottom, it's the solid prism purple. And voila, my ombre wall art is complete and I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and are inspired to create your very own wall art. Please hit the subscribe button and of course, comment below and let me know what colors you choose and what projects you wanna see next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of DIY My House.